I've been acting for 17 years now, so over that time you have strengths or weaknesses. So I guess now I'm in the sort of ballpark of maybe attempting to take on characters that I've never played before. Because, you know, no one wants to repeat themselves and we can, as we get older, we can grow and mature as actors and there's still lots of various parts I haven't even tackled yet. I think ultimately when you're looking for a character in a script, you want them to be as layered and complicated and contradictory as, as, as possible. I mean, that's certainly applied to the character of Danny Waldron in, in Line of Duty, you know. Um, there was a hell of a lot going on with him. So it's just great for you to sort of explore that and do the research and just, you know, come to the set fully prepared and try and do the job the best you possibly can. In terms of research, if the writer is, um, of top quality, they would have sort of applied that in their in their script anyway. So, I mean, I've just got a show called Gorilla coming out and it's written by the amazing John Ridley who brought us 12 years of slave and American crime in the States. So, uh, and that was about the black power movement. So John came over and immersed himself uh, in the British uh, Black Panther movement. And so when you come to the table and look at the script, it's all there, it's all applied in the writing. But I always enjoy you know, the endeavour of looking into a character's past history and childhood and background because you've got to always play the character in the round, really. And um, I worked very early on in my career with Mike Lee, I, sort of a year out of drama school. I was cast in his movie All or Nothing. And so a lot of the sort of way that I approach building a character is all down to Mike, really. And that's a, you know, uh, very in-depth and leaving no stone unturned to try and play it as truthfully as possible. So, yeah, it's all his fault, really. <laughs> Research and prepping for a character can be applied to the actual audition as well. You know, um, if you've got a week to prepare for a casting, then, of course, you've got to learn the script, but um, it's always an idea to, you know, fully think about the character as a whole as well. No casting director ever wants to see you read, they want to see you act and they, you know, I always think when you go into a casting it's about having this idea that, or notion that these group of people in this room have a problem, they need to cast this role and you somehow have to be the solution to that. So you have to have a really clear and precise uh, take on it. You, you kind of put what, however much you want to put into it, that's your own choice, you know, so, but it's always about exploring it as much as you possibly can because then you just get like, you know, little nuggets of information or, and it will just come out in your performance in a hand gesture or a facial expression or what, the tiniest detail can always be picked up on on a camera. So, you know, it's all about just basically putting the work in. The way in which I like to work with a director is, um, I like it to be as collaborative as it possibly can. I don't really like um, directors that don't give you any direction. And I kind of have experienced that. I mean, the more it, you, know, you, you work within the industry, you do get some people that think, oh, you know, I'll just cast that actor and I'll, I'll just let them get on with it. You know, feel like you're cast adrift on a raft in the ocean somewhere. It's always about, um, you know, striving to get the best possible performance you possibly can and that, you know, demands dialogue between um, the director and the actor. I mean, one of the brilliant directors I've worked with in the past is Dervla Walsh. I did a show called Funland and a Tony Marchant script called Public Enemies. And Dervla and I had a great shorthand with one another. I could be doing a take and thinking I've done all this emotional uh, outpouring and I'm really in the moment and it's great. And then she can come in and just say, she would be honest and say, I didn't believe any of it. And, um, but I like that, I like, you know, because it makes you think in a different direction and you have to conjure up something um, that you haven't thought of before. But, it, you know, if the director and the actor, you just have to be on the same page. If you're all pulling in the right direction, and that actually applies to everyone, the crew, the sound, the costume, it's always about the collaborative effort together, you know, in trying to bring the story to life as best you possibly can. Every new character you take on is a challenge. And I always have the mentality of, you're only as good as your last job. People say, but Danny, you're, 
you'll drive yourself mad thinking that. But I think it's a really important discipline because um, every character you take on, you should kind of wipe the slate clean and come at it afresh. And um, and again, just keep challenging yourself. I mean, I have a, I did, I just played a guy called Peter Wildblood in a one-off for BBC called Against the Law, which was he was uh, a journalist. Uh, working for the Daily Mail, who served two years um, for homosexuality. And, you know, it was such a... I mean, they approached me as a very left-field choice in many respects because I don't think the audience are going to imagine me playing a role like that. And, um, but I relish that challenge. In any walk of life, you've got to keep pushing yourself and growing as a performer. You know, otherwise the audience will just get bored, I'll get bored. You know, this is kind of like a voyage of discovery, always. I guess the one piece of advice I would give myself if I was starting out was try to be as resilient as possible and um, to not shy away from hard work. You know, the general perception of acting and show business or whatever you want to call it is that it's all glamorous. And it's really not, you know, it's, um, it's hard graft, you know, and it's, um, you have to put your armor plated on and you have to learn to cope with rejection uh, and the uncertainty of it all. But um, be prepared would be this, probably be the advice I'd give myself because you never know when that casting will come in or that job opportunity will arise. People's perception is you have to be in the right place at the right time, but I, I honestly think that, you know, you've got to create your own luck and whenever that opportunity comes along, you've got to be ready. I've just worked with a couple of young, brilliant, upcoming actors Jack Rowan and Lara Peake. And we just starred in this, a Channel 4 psychological thriller called Born to Kill. And um, they were a complete and utter breath of fresh air. And I love it when I work with young actors who are fresh on the scene, they've got no baggage, you've got no preconceived ideas of their past performances because you haven't really seen any of them. And uh, you can completely and utterly invest in their performances and their believability. I know Channel 4 hunted high and wide to try and find the best actors to fill these roles and they've found a couple of gems in Jack and Lara. So um, it's always great when you work with actors who you haven't worked with before because it's a new and different experience.